So if you're asking me what sort of worlds I create, I do not create these worlds. I only find them. I think that these worlds are out there in a way, in a, in a sort of mathematical way. I have no idea if that means these worlds are going to exist or if they exist somewhere else in another dimension. My name is Julius Horsthuis. I am 38 years old and I'm a fractal artist. I've always wanted to create visuals with, with cameras, either real cameras or digital cameras. I was interested in uh, the aesthetics of, of cinema, um, editing, uh, the music, the lighting, the moods that you can create with it. I was always sort of struggling, like, because I applied uh, three times in my life to film school here in Amsterdam, and they rejected me three times. So I was sort of, well, I need to, I want to do this. So I learned it on the job by just taking up jobs uh, on the film set, learning about lighting, learning about camera work, learning about editing, and then later learning about CG animation. And in CG, in computer graphics, you can sort of create the worlds that you have in your mind with a lower budget. When I found the software, Mandelbulb 3D, and I could sort of figure out how it worked, I was like, okay, this is the perfect tool for me to, to tell these stories that I've always wanted to tell. Mandelbulb 3D is, a, is just a piece of software that anyone can install, and it's free on the internet, and you can actually play around with fractals, and you don't need to understand the math. So theoretically, what is happening behind the scenes is like it, it's, there's formulas that are translated into shapes. I don't really understand how that works. I like the fact that I don't understand how it works because it gives me some sense of wonder. I think it would be very, very possible that in, let's say, six or seven years, uh, better hardware, better software will open up completely new possibilities of beautiful worlds that um, we can discover through these methods. And yeah, I think that's a great, a great future for art there. It's really cool to be in a dome planetarium and immerse yourself in fractals. Uh, VR headsets like this. Uh, they're great for, um, for fractal art, you're sort of in the middle of it and it's really cool. So I think with new technology like AR and other things, it's going to be very exciting uh, for, for fractals as well. So the message behind my art is that I want to invite people in the space that I'm in when I'm traveling through these landscapes. I want to stimulate people's imagination to the max uh, because fractals always look like something and I want to, to play with that, make people their imaginations go wild and run with that. <laughs>